89.3 and 88.5 Yes FM. Online at www.yeshome.com. Now on the free Yes FM iTunes app and the Yes FM Android app or the free tune in radio app. Search Yes FM Lima. Winter Jam coming to the Joe Lewis Arena on February the 22nd. And uh, on the phone line, we have got Trevor McNevin of Thousand Foot Crutch, one of the bands on Winter Jam. Hi, Trevor. What's up, April? How are you? We're doing well. How about yourself, sir? I am well, thank you. We, uh, we are in Pennsylvania today, enjoying Winter Jam. What's the weather like in Pennsylvania? Are you guys getting snow, or is it pretty uh, cool out there? Uh, it, it is cold, but no snow. No, uh, no snow love over here. You, you guys must have some. We got a little bit. We got like two inches yesterday, and they're saying we're supposed to get a couple more sometime tomorrow during the day. So... But uh, nothing nice. like uh, Storm Mageddon a couple of weeks ago. That was just insane. <laughs> Seriously, I know we were watching that on the radar. We're like, my crazy! You guys got the real deal winter. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a couple of years where we've hardly had anything, and then this year is just more than made up for it. We're we're kind of done. <laughs> <laughs> you got caught up. Yep. Well, speaking of winter, Winter Jam, you guys are on the Winter Jam tour, and uh, how are things going for you guys as a band? Uh, it's been awesome, thank you. Uh, we this tour has been so refreshing, man. You know, there's there's actually it's a huge tour from the aspect of there's 144 people touring together out here, and so it's just you know a great family atmosphere, great family vibe, great people, and I think all the way across the board, man. It, that's what's part of what's been so refreshing is just from you know the bus drivers and tour managers and catering to people on stage to the just everyone involved with this entire tour you just you know you can see Jesus everywhere on this tour and it's it's such a blessing and great great tour to be on man so we're we're having a blast and it's been exciting just seeing God move every night in in different ways out here and being uh, just being a part of that what's the what's the stage show look like for you guys uh what are you doing any uh, crazy antics or is it kind of a little bit more laid back what's it looking like this show on this tour? Yeah. As far as what uh, you guys look like, look like on stage. Uh, it's pretty high octane, man. We, uh, we get it ripped in April. We kind of, uh, we, you know, everybody sets a pretty short on this tour because it's, the, the model is, is 10 bets for 10 bucks. And, so that's an awesome thing. But it, that creates the challenge of, like, trying to figure out which songs you're going to play in you know, a shorter set and how to build dynamics in that. And uh, we feel like, yeah, we feel like we finally kind of, dialed in what feels like a, a true TFK show, but it's been a smaller amount of time. So, uh, yeah, it, it's been awesome, man. We're having a blast. Who are some of the bands that you guys have been, like, just kind of connecting with, you know, been able to hang out with and maybe got, gotten to know a little bit better, you know, or, or certain ones that, like, you know, are kind of the newcomers and you've been able to, to uh, you know, find out what they're all about? Yeah, I think uh, this is our second time touring with McRae, and so, you know, he's a, a good homie and I always love to be on the road with him. He's great at what he does and good people. And this is our first time, though, touring with Colton. And uh, I've had a privilege of working with Colton on, on some of his songs with him and stuff and working on some music. But this is our first time touring together. So it's awesome to be out here with him and his crew. And he's got an awesome band of guys, and uh, we're having a blast together. They, Plum is another uh, another one we've never toured with, you know, with Tiffany until this tour. And that they've just, you know, her and her whole team are awesome, too, man. And she's just got such a powerful voice. So... Really enjoying being out with all those guys. Yeah, she was just saying the same thing about you. We talked to her about an hour ago. So. <laughs> oh, crazy. She was showing you love back. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, those guys are awesome, man. I mean, new song. Honestly, every band on this tour is, yeah, I think it's really got something for everybody. And uh, everybody's hearts are the same and our passions are the same. And so it's great to be on such a united front in so many creative different ways. Uh, let's talk a little bit about you guys as a band. Uh, of course, uh, Made in Canada just came out this fall, and uh, some of the best stuff from yeah. you guys, and uh, a few new songs on there as well. So uh, why decide to go ahead and do a best of? Like, what was the idea behind that? Well, to answer your question, <laughs> honestly, we, uh, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't our idea to do that. We uh, we would have waited, I think, a lot, lot longer to do something like that. But we, we have been with uh, Tooth & Nail Records for about 10 years and uh, love those guys and their family. They always will be. But we, uh, when we finished our record contract, we chose to go independent. So we have our own team now, and we're kind of 100% independent. You know, no, no record labels, just, just us and the, 
if he, the audience supports the music. So it's uh, it's been an awesome journey. But that said, uh, they kind of came to us after we had left and said, hey, we'd love to, we're going to put out this kind of best of. Would you guys work with us on it? So, you know, we, we ended up working together with them to kind of name it and package it and then put a, a couple songs that were written during the making of those records that we always loved uh, but never really uh, fit the body of a record. Uh, we, we took a couple of those songs and, and put it on there as well and kind of helped work together with them. So uh, it wasn't like a, a conscious decision to say, you know, let's release the best of. <laughs> but, uh, it, yeah, we, you know, they were going to do it either way, and we really wanted to work with them on it. And, uh, yeah. Are you still there? Oh, okay. We're having some issues with the phone, so it looks like we may have dropped Trevor. Hopefully, uh, we'll get a hold of him and uh, continue the interview. Yep, yep, totally dropped him. So, well, we'll get a hold of him and continue the interview here in just a few minutes with uh, SFM. And speaking of Winter Jam, uh, we'll call this part two of the interview with uh, Trevor of Thousand Foot Crutch. <laughs> gotcha back. <laughs> What's up? Cell service. Yeah, you oh, gotta geez. love it. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so yeah, you were talking about uh, Made in Canada, saying that you know it was a thing that Tooth and Nail wanted to do. It you guys jumped on board and put out this really yeah. cool album. So, yeah, thank you so much. We yeah, we just kind of uh, were able to kind of do that together with them, and uh, it was something they were going to do. So we we thought, you know what, let's let's get join forces and kind of make this something hopefully hopefully special for people who want to get it. And uh, I was doing some uh, research on you guys and saw, now um, you can clarify this, but new music on the horizon? Are you guys working on some new stuff? Is that true? Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, every day out here on the, on the bus and then kind of in my studio in between shows, we've been uh, writing for the new record nonstop. So we're really, really excited about it and uh, can't wait to share some new stuff. We, um, hopefully, the game plan right now is to kind of hit finish the writing, which should be done pretty soon, and then uh, hit the studio in April when we finish this tour in March. Like, we, we, we kind of toured this till the end of March, and uh, we hope to get in the studio right after that and then uh, have a new record out ASAP in 2014, so uh, as soon as we can. But, uh, yeah, we're really excited about it, and uh, we, we uh, hopefully in the next month is, is the game plan to kind of unveil the, the title and the cover and just kind of the idea of this, this record that... The new one's kind of a, a big idea, so to speak, and uh, we're just uh, enjoying kind of following God's lead on this one, and it's been a lot of fun. Can you divulge any more information, or is, or is that it? Is that all we're going to be able to get out of you right now? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Sorry, I, I got to press. Tell you. <laughs> cool. Sorry. I wish I could tell you more. Oh, we're looking forward to seeing what you guys have got cooked up, especially, you know, when you're, when you're allowing God to, to deal and, and work, and, and so it'll be interesting. But uh, what are some of the things that God maybe has been showing you on this tour in, or just in general with you guys? I mean, you've been at this for a while, and, I mean, obviously there's always something uh, that you're going to be learning. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, God just, you know, kind of blows your mind every day in new ways. And I don't know, I think something that's, that I've been kind of, it's been on my heart to kind of share out here and just in our camp is is we've kind of taken on the challenge uh, this year uh, of just you know making our worship our lifestyle you know of just kind of trying to to be the change and not and not just talk about it and uh, just kind of I, I guess kind of taking on that challenge of of you know we, loving our God with our lifestyle uh, and you know not just our songs and not just. Uh, you know, at, at times of the day sort of thing. And um, and I don't know, I think that's something that's kind of a, a daily challenge for for everyone, obviously. That's that's a uh, a mission statement. But it's something that, you know, I, I read something this year that challenged me that was talking about how, you know, worship was never designed to just be a genre of music or just be a part of a church service, you know, that it was actually designed to be just a, a lifestyle, you know, the way that we love our God uh, with our life when, when nobody's watching. So we've, yeah, as a team, we've, we've taken on that challenge and just, you know, it's, it's just exciting, man. It's always exciting kind of walking your life with God and uh, always uh, just kind of blown away by what, what, he, what he's doing out here. And we feel blessed to be a small part of it. Once again, talking to uh, Trevor McNevin, uh, lead singer of Thousand Foot Crutch and Winter GM2 are coming to our area, Joe Lewis Arena in Detroit on February the 22nd. Hey, Trevor, if uh, people wanted to uh, catch more info about you, kind of keep up with what's going on with the band and uh, also yeah. with the Winter GM Tour itself, uh, where are some of the places they could go online? 
Um, definitely our website, thousandfootcrutch.com. It's all spelled out, and crutch with a K, um, dot com. And then we have a free app, uh, just the TFK app in the App Store as well. That Both of those things are kind of kind of consistently updated with everything from tour dates to music to videos to everything. So, yeah, please uh, yeah, check those out and uh, come and hang with us, man. We'd love to see you guys. And jantour.com for uh, Winter Jam Tour. And, uh, Absolutely. Uh, definitely uh, looking forward to, to seeing uh, what you guys are, are bringing to the table uh, with the tour and then also uh, with the new music coming out. Uh, but speaking of, of, of new music, you had a couple new songs on uh, the uh, Made in Canada CD. One of the songs, well, we've been playing both of them, but one of the songs that uh, we've currently been playing is the song Complicate You. Can you tell us a little bit about that before we let you go? Yeah, Complicate You uh, is kind of a fun song that, uh, you know, for me, it was kind of about meeting someone like that, that kind of him or her in your life uh, that, that just kind of stops you in your tracks, kind of blows you away, and where you kind of almost have that, like, <laughs> very vulnerable, humble feeling of, like, whoa, you, you know, you are you seem great, and, uh, you know, I just, I don't want to complicate you. <laughs> it's like that, it's that that thought inside your head of just like, huh, this person seems amazing. It's almost like watching an angel walk into a room or something and then being like, it, you know, you, your kind of uh, insecurity or just your, your inner dialogue kicks in of just like, oh, wait a sec. <laughs> I don't, wait, I'm not going to go there. I don't want to complicate you, you know, kind of thing. And uh, it, I just thought it was kind of a funny, uh, almost cheeky way to just be honest about the feelings that we have sometimes as, as you know, uh, guys and girls and just kind of having those experiences in our life. And so, yeah, I, I think uh, that to me that's kind of where, the, where this song's coming from. Is there anything we could be praying for you guys for? I mean, obviously, uh, new music coming out, uh, pray for that process, but anything specifically that we can be praying for you guys for? Yeah, I, I think uh, other than just kind of direction and wisdom with this next record, I think uh, just health for our families, and uh, it's, it's always a big one when we're out here. And uh, just, yeah, health and, and unity would be great. Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer if we can. Let's do it. Yeah. Lord, we just thank you for Trevor. We thank you for Steve and Joel and just the guys that make up Thousand Foot Crutch. We thank you for their hearts, Lord. And we thank you that you've given them the opportunity to be on this tour and uh, just to be able to uh, sow into people. And then uh, just to be able to receive back, too, with um, all these other great bands loving on them and just hanging out. And uh, just uh, the, the people who come, uh, just being able to love on them as well, Lord. Lord, we pray for their families, um, for their health. We pray for unity. We also pray um, for just direction as you're giving them new music and uh, just just big, great ideas uh, that they're going to be putting out here thank very you. soon, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for uh, all of these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much, April. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Trevor, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Once again, people can catch uh, 1,000 Foot Crunch as well as some other great bands on uh, Winter Jam Tour coming to Detroit February the 22nd, Joe Louis Arena. Yeah. Yeah. Looking forward to it, man. Thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate you. Absolutely. And uh, we appreciate you guys. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much, April. Yep. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Yes, FM.